Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Are you feeling frustrated? Well, here's an answer to another Final Cut Pro question. Are there any broadcast video monitors that I recommend these days, and are they really still needed? There's lots of broadcast monitors, probably the least expensive that are worth looking at are from Panasonic and JVC, and they're in the average of four to $5,000 a piece. The question of why they're needed, though, is a bigger question. If what you're doing is principally going to the web, I would argue that a broadcast monitor is not needed, but a calibrated good computer monitor is needed, and you calibrate it going to system preferences using the, um, the color, the display setting. There's a color calibration setting. Uh, there's an expert mode, which I recommend, to make sure that the, the color that you see on the monitor is what you expect. One of the strengths that Final Cut 10 provides over Final Cut 7 is that Apple has built an entire color sync workflow, which means that from the moment you capture the video through all of your monitoring and all of your image processing, the colors are managed so that you should, with a calibrated monitor, be able to see the color exactly the same on whatever monitor you're looking at it. That's the good news. The bad news is Apple has not documented in any way that I've been able to find, and I was talking with them as recently as last week about this, they haven't documented how to set up a color-managed video workflow. Color-managed still workflows have been around since the 1980s and the early 90s when ColorSync was invented to solve issues of how we look at images on the computer screen and get them to print on a printing press. But that same workflow has not yet been documented that I know about. If there is, I'm happy to share the information. That color workflow has not been documented on how to work with ColorSync in a video environment. My name is Larry Jordan. For more training, both written and video, visit larryjordan.biz store today. And thanks for watching.